Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Today I'm gonna take you along on like a little fun work day that I'm so excited about. We are doing a tour of the Ritz-Carlton Grand Lakes today and we're having lunch out there and then we're working by the pool. So the team and I and our boss are taking a tour. I've never seen the Ritz-Carlton Grand Lakes before so I'm excited to see the property and um, all that good stuff so we're just gonna have like a little day and then work by the pool so i'm gonna bring my laptop but i thought it'd be fun <laughs> to bring you guys along and um show you the property and show you the day and have it be like a little work day in my life vlog included i don't know <laughs> I just got home from Target. I placed a Target pickup order because I forgot to get some bacon last weekend when I went to the grocery store. So I wanted some bacon this morning for breakfast and I'm sure Christian did too. So I went and placed a pickup order and I drove kind of far to this Target. Probably, we have a Target right by our apartment. It's literally like less than five minutes from us, probably like two and they didn't have this there. So I searched in the area for one and there was a Target 15 minutes away that had it. But it's the new poppy flavor. It's the cherry limeade. So I'm gonna try this probably later today. I'll let you guys know if it's any good, but it's exclusively only at Target. So it's not really that convenient if the Target is like 15 minutes away for me to just go and pick it up. But um, I wish you could order it on Amazon or something. You can order the other flavors, but you can't order this one specifically. So I drove a little bit out of the way to get it, picked up bacon, 
And then I picked up some spinach for smoothies because I bought this new protein powder and it's so good. It's by 1UP Nutrition and it's the salted caramel flavor. And it's the collab with Sydney Adams for her birthday. And I know it's already out by the time this video goes up, so I'll link it down below. It's really good. She mixes it with coffee, but I've really been loving it in smoothies. And the way that I make this smoothie is just so good. The only con about this protein, it's a whey protein, so it does have dairy in it. So it's not vegan or anything. I do like um, One Up Nutrition's vegan vanilla protein. It's really good. And they also have tons of other vegan protein powders as well. So I just got an order in from them and I got a restock on a ton of stuff. I picked up the Kickstart wellness shot again because I went through the whole container of the last one and I've really just been loving having it in the morning. I feel like it's just an extra boost and I don't know, it's so intense of a wellness shot but it just has a lot of great benefits so I really have been loving the Kickstart wellness shot and it kind of saves you a little bit of money buying it this way than buying a bunch of containers of it at the store because there's 60 servings in this and for me to go and buy 60 ginger or wellness shots it'd be well over a hundred dollars but with this i think it's around like 50 bucks but with my coupon code you can get i think it's 25 percent off so 25 percent off that and you can have a wellness shot for 60 days i feel like that's a pretty good deal and this is um vegan and dairy free soy free gluten free all that stuff so i've mentioned it before i just got another container of it and I've really just been loving it. So I did want to mention that. I always have 1UP Nutrition linked down below and um, I am constantly sharing the products that I use and the products that I'm getting in the mail. So those are the ones that I got this month. And then I got another one of the vegan breads and greens that I have raved about for so long. I'm gonna put this bacon in the oven because the oven's done preheating. I'm gonna put these poppies in the fridge that way they can get a little bit cold for me to try them and then i'll try them on camera okay we just finished eating breakfast and i put this in the freezer i'm gonna try it and then i'll probably put it over ice but i want to get like the full experience just by drinking it from the can i think this is my favorite because i love cherry flavored things and i also love lime what are you laughing at Please, seriously. Cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna spit it everywhere. <laughs> I'm being serious. It's actually not that, it's not bad. I think it's one of my favorites. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like cherry. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's good. It's one of the better ones I've had from them. Yeah. Um, but if you like the ginger lime one, you'll probably really like this one because it's kind of the same except it's with cherry. I think it's really good. Probably one of my favorites. So that's the rating on that. Okay, so I mentioned a few vlogs ago that I wanted to try and make my closet look a little bit more organized or kind of put stuff into baskets. I ordered some baskets off of Target. These were actually 50% off. I'm not sure if the deal's going on now still or if it was just like a one-time thing, but I got about four of these baskets that I'm gonna put at the top of my closet and kind of put stuff in them to try and just make it look a little bit more organized and a little bit better and less cluttered. So, got four of these. I can link them down below. I use them in my closet for my jean shorts, um, leggings, biker shorts, sweatpants, jeans, all of that. And they come in so many different sizes as well. So we're gonna try and do that. I also um, I also ordered a new jewelry box. I have this jewelry box, which I've had for so long but it's really small. And when I moved here, I actually like chipped it and it kind of cracked and broke. So it's been on my list to get a new jewelry box and I got one, but I'm a little 
bummed because I kind of got it to kind of go in my drawers. Here, let me just show you what I'm talking about. This is the jewelry box that I got. I got it off of Amazon. And the cool thing about it is that you can take them apart or keep them together. But I got them because I wanted them to fit in these drawers, but they just fit kind of awkwardly, I think. And I measured them, and I think I measured them to fit this way, but they just, they don't. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? So the only way that they really fit in here is this way, but I feel like there's this just awkward space right here, but it helps for me to see everything, if that makes sense. So I wanted to kind of clear out these drawers and put them in the bins up there and kind of make up there look better. So we're going to tackle that. But that's the main reason why I got this was because I kind of just wanted them to be like that in the drawers. And they just, they're just awkward. I don't know what I'm going to do. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you think I should just leave it on the counter? I kind of wanted to put some shoes up there and then move these to on top of here kind of condense them i don't know how to describe it do you guys get what i'm saying i wanted to kind of scrunch these up and just have them lay on top of this so they're just not like hanging right here but i don't know <laughs> i don't know i just feel like my closet needs some help and some reorganizing to make it look a little bit better so we're gonna try and do that I think this is how it's going to be. Okay, I left a space right there because I ordered two shoe racks from Target that I'm gonna go pick up soon once they're ready. So that's where I'm gonna put my shoes. Here's the top of the closet. There's just no way to make that look good. But there are the baskets lined up. I th maybe I should turn that one so it matches them, but took down the shoe racks like i said i'm gonna put them right here i put my oversized t-shirts and some pants over here i think taking down the shoe racks definitely made the closet look way better just without changing anything else around i feel like the hanging shoe racks just made it look so just like cluttered and not good but i put i ended up putting my jewelry in the drawers it's good for now it is kind of bothering me how it doesn't completely fit in the drawer, but at least now I can have everything and see all my jewelry this way. And then here's like another example of what this drawer looks like. And I just have some like chapstick and stuff that I can grab to throw in a purse when I grab a purse. So I'm very, very happy. And then I just need to build the shoe racks and I'll show you that once I go pick them up. The order isn't ready yet, but... Okay, I'm out of breath. I just walked up the stairs with two of these. I just raced over to Target and picked up the shoe racks. And I have to put them together. And I don't know how hard it's going to be to put them together. I don't really plan on doing this today.
is the shoe rack. I think it looks really good. I just left the top open and then I can put my work bag or like a purse that I'm using right here. So I just left that empty, fill it with whatever I want. And I was gonna put my sweatshirts up there, my crew necks, but it just looked really cluttered. So I put them back down there and then put my shirts back up here. I think this shoe rack looks so much better than the hanging ones. So I'm really happy about it and it only took literally like 20 minutes to build both racks. And this isn't all of my shoes. I have some shoes obviously in those boxes up there and then some shoes in those bins that I don't wear on a daily basis. But yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really glad that I decided to kind of reorganize it and get some bins and different storage options. I also got some shoes from DSW, but I have to return them unfortunately because they look really big on my feet, which I'm surprised because I just got the same size that I have in the non-platform version of these. And this just looks so big. And I don't know if it's because it's a platform or what, but I got the high top platform Converse and I love them, but they're just so big on my feet. And I got a size six, which my shoe size is literally all over the place. I never know what shoe size I'm gonna be anywhere. I feel like my feet are just oddly shaped. I don't know. Or no shoe store is super consistent. But yeah, oh. so I got a, sorry, Christian's playing, it's so pure. He's playing Uno <laughs> with his friends sorry, sorry, on yeah, sorry, um, like the PS5 or whatever. I don't know, some Uno game, but I think it's so so pure. Um, his friends live a few hours away, so this is a way for them to like hang out. So I just went ahead and ordered a five online. Have you guys run into this issue if you have purchased these shoes? Have you had to size a complete size down because of the platform? I don't know, they just look humongous on my feet. I just went ahead and ordered a five and then um, because they don't have it in the store, unfortunately. So I just ordered online and then there's a DSW really close to us. So I'll probably just go tomorrow and return these there then because the weather is getting really bad outside right now. And I'm actually supposed to go to dinner with my friend Taylor at Agave Azul and the weather is just really taking a turn for the worse. You hear him? <laughs> it's so pure how they're doing this right now. I'm literally playing Uno online. It also looks like we just moved in. <laughs> Look at all these boxes. washed some lettuce and I put it in paper towels in a bowl for the week um, doing a bunch of laundry just like cleaning up I cleaned out the fridge just getting stuff done and ready for the work week I just made a huge Yeti full of lime water. I'm like slacking on my water today, so I needed something a little bit flavored. And I'm just switched over the laundry. I'm about to head out and run to DSW to exchange those shoes. Let's 
Let's go run these errands, then I'll come back, finish up some laundry, and maybe go to the grocery store later. Preheating right now. I just got home from Publix and put away all of the groceries. It wasn't that much stuff, just some fresh fruit and vegetables for the week. The oven is preheating for the bacon because I want to make like basically BLTs without the bread. So just like lettuce, bacon, tomato, and then I'm gonna put red onion on it. It'll be really good. I wanted to show you what I got from Ulta because I went and picked up some stuff that I'm excited about. So first I got the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. This is my second time repurchasing this. I really like it, it's cheap. It's kind of like an It's a 10 dupe, supposedly. I think it's great, I love it. Love the smell of it. So it strengthens as a heat protector and reduces frizz. I really like it, I think it does a good job. So I got that. I got a, another makeup sponge by Real Techniques. I got, okay, this I'm trying out because I needed more shampoo and for some reason, I really can't bring myself to spend money on shampoo and conditioner. I like, if I see $30 for a shampoo, I'm like, like I don't, I don't wanna spend it. And this was like on the pricier side for me. It was like 23 bucks and it's pretty small. But I wanted to try it because it's it repairs and supposedly repairs and banishes split ends, reduces breakage, and seals the cuticles. So I've seen this a lot everywhere. A lot of like bloggers, influencers feel like try it out and work with the brand. But I mean, honestly, who knows if it's good or not? I mean, I feel like we're all kind of skeptical when someone talks about anything, it's just natural to be kind of skeptical. Like, is it good or no? So I'm gonna try it out and we'll see. So I don't know, I needed a new shampoo. My conditioner is still like intact because I don't go through it as quick, but I needed a new shampoo. So I only got the shampoo. I didn't get the conditioner because I didn't need it. And I'm just weird about stuff. If I buy something, I can't justify buying something else until I'm done with the product that I have. Even if I don't really like the product or like don't love it, I'm, I'm still using it until it's empty because I just don't like wasting stuff. I'm like that with food too. I just like don't like wasting stuff and throwing stuff away. <laughs> so um, I also got two products by The Ordinary. So I got the niacinamide and I thought this would be good to try. I mean, The Ordinary is so inexpensive. I love their hyaluronic acid. Um, I ran out of that, so I wanted to try the niacinamide. Everyone says on TikTok that it makes your skin literally look like glass. So I wanna give it a try. And then this one I have purchased before. It's the caffeine solution. And I can't remember if I liked it or not, but I used it over a year ago and it's just for underneath your eyes. And it says it reduces the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness. Which I struggle with dark circles really bad. Um, has nothing to do with, like I think it's hereditary and I also think, I broke my nose when I was in kindergarten. I like hit the monkey bars so hard that I knocked myself out and I broke my nose and I have like permanent dark color right here it literally looks like raccoon eyes as funny as that sounds and I just like constantly have darkness underneath my eyes too and it could be partially hereditary as well but I really think it's from like hitting my head so hard or my like nose so hard that i'm just like permanently dark right there i don't know it has never gone away and um 
I feel like I remember it when I was young having it after I like hit my head or my nose or my face so hard. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I just struggle with that. It's kind of like just something that never really goes away. So I'm willing to try anything and I just can't remember if the caffeine helped at all. So I'm gonna try it again. But I'll let you guys know about these products if they're good. Haven't tried any of them. Well, I've tried the caffeine solution, but I haven't tried the niacinamide or this shampoo. I'll keep you updated on if the caffeine I feel like does anything. So I'll keep you updated on all of these. This I recommend if you're looking for something that's not as expensive as the It's a 10, but basically does the same thing. So that's the haul. It's a little bit later. It's 6.30. I... I'm whispering because Christian is napping in the other room and I don't want to wake him. I think I want to get on the treadmill or work out a little bit um, before we figure out dinner. I don't really know what we're going to do for dinner, but um, I think I want to go down and just do like the 12, 3, 30 workout. So I think I'm going to put on a little set and go down there. I'm going to take off my jewelry. Also, if you've made it this far in the vlog and you want to ask a question to be included in my q and I want to film a q and I asked over on Instagram to ask me some questions and I got a few questions. A lot of them were very much job related. So I got like a literally a ton of job related questions. So I'll be answering a ton of those, but literally more than half of the questions I got were all about my job. So I kind of wanted a mix of questions too so if anyone has any questions that they want to ask and I'll answer in a Q&A coming up leave them in the comments down below and I'll pull them and um, include them in that video so I'm gonna change and head down to the gym <laughs> 